Great panel. Yeah, you're allowed great. to <laughs> leave the stage. What a great day. Uh, wow. Um, I'm be brief. I'm the only thing standing between you and a reception downstairs where we've got food and wine and uh, people can decompress and keep the conversation going. Um, I'm not sure the planning committee for all of our work completely appreciated what a spectacular day we were creating. Uh, great talks, um, great questions, great comments, both from you here and also from our webcast audience, putting up with that technology and participating nonetheless. You know, we set out to find areas of consensus and progress, areas of continuing debate. We found a lot of both. I mean, I think what we're seeing is a system very much midstream. It's almost 40 years. Soon it'll be 40 years since Belmont and the creation of the regulations that we now know is the common rule and this whole system. We've learned a lot. Jeff Botkin started talking about some of the core successes of that and trying to really get rid of systemic research abuses, but the continuing issues that we nonetheless face, things like making consent really work, um, this continuing failure to get guidelines in place and real consensus about participants with diminished or fluctuating capacity is really a big problem, and we know that here at Minnesota, and a lot of institutions know that. How to genuinely partner, respectfully, genuinely, deeply with our community. We heard, we heard from Vanessa Northington Gamble and others how that remains a really big issue. Um, what industry relationships raise high risk of bias, to use Bernie Lowe's term, and how should these be managed? And this just wonderful panel we heard from multiple perspectives about dimensions of vulnerability. Underprotection, overprotection, underrepresentation. Really, how do we make progress in that realm? I got to tell you, there are a few things that are sticking out to me. One is uh, we've got data now in a lot of these realms. How do we use that? How do we go back and forth between theory and reality to move forward on both fronts? I, as a lawyer, I'm hearing some deep critique of the law and the regs. How do we improve that? And also the inadequacy of mere compliance that we really have to hold ourselves here and elsewhere and as a research community to a much higher bar. Very interesting conversation about individual perspective, institutional perspective. We heard a lot on the investigator, participant relationship and family, but we also heard a lot about the context for that, the culture of an institution, how to move toward transparency, how to move toward fast, open recognition when there really is a problem and dealing with it. Really a fascinating set of comparisons that Rich Sharp offered us to the airline industry, other industries, uh, other realms that face crises as well. And finally, we come back to where we began, the people, right? The participants, the people who have got to be at the center of this entire conversation as we think more deeply about how to do right in every way uh, by our patients and research participants and how to get out of the we they so that we are joining with them and deeply hearing uh, what they're telling to us and the we becomes enlarged. So next steps. We are archiving the video of this conference on the consortium website within about a week. Use it. Keep talking. It's free, it's open there. Any problems, call us. Uh, I've heard already about some nascent planning about more conversations, community events. Use it, critique it, keep the conversation going. Give us feedback. But take a minute, fill out the evaluation forms that ought to be in your email inbox. If not already, then later today, we're gonna read every one and we'll take them very seriously. If you need continuing ed, don't forget that form, that magic form that you need to turn in up there. Um, stay involved in these issues. A lot of you are deeply involved. That's why you're here. We want to hear what you're doing. Um, and lastly, come downstairs, join us, celebrate, keep the conversation going. Thank you. Thanks to our staff. Thanks for being here.